One of the extraordinary stories behind the athletes who competed at this year's Olympic Games in London could read like a boy's adventure story. Abducted as a small child by soldiers, escaped by outrunning those soldiers, and then becoming an Olympic athlete. But between the lines of that true story are years of deprivation and heartache. Lopez Lamong was only six years old when he was kidnapped from his village in South Sudan. And in his book, Running For My Life, he describes how he saw other abducted children dying, how he escaped, and the fear that kept him running fast enough to keep up with the older boys as they all ran for their lives. Lopez eventually crossed the border into Kenya and lived for the next 10 years at the Kakuma refugee camp, one of thousands of boys who'd lost their homes and their families, becoming known in the West as the Lost Boys of Sudan. Fast forward a few years, Lopez has not only graduated from university in the United States, but also become a world-class athlete. Wow, here he goes, 13-10, 13-11, what a performance. Through all of this extraordinary journey, Lopez Lamont has never lost his faith in God. He says that he knows that Jesus saved him and has prepared him for the work God has given him to do, helping to rebuild his village in South Sudan. To achieve that goal, Lopez has partnered with World Vision USA, and Alan Lee asked their Vice President, Steve Haas, how that partnership first came about. Well, it, it's about uh, a year ago, we got a call from a, a woman, a businesswoman, who had actually been on the same dais with him speaking. And when she began to quiz him about what his goals were, she was, in her words, she said, I was blown away by the the the, the the sensitivity and the specificity of where Lopez wanted to go and what Lopez wanted to do. And so she called her very, very good friend, Kevin Jenkins, who had gone to the Harvard Business School with her, who happens to be our international president. And the next thing I knew, I was getting a call from him saying, could you look in on this, on this young man? When I sat with Lopez, it became very clear that everything we had been told by this businesswoman was true. Uh, Lopez wanted to go back to his own home community and build a community center that could also function as a church so that no longer people would sit underneath the tree. Um, he wanted to uh, start helping his nation along the lines of some of the biggest sectoral uh, issues that they're being faced with, unclean water, uh, lack of education, lack of nutrition, lack of food security. And so in the midst of that, we said, why don't we just create our own brand that would work uh, kind of as a sub-brand under, under World Vision. World Vision will do the work for you. You go and talk and present this to people. And if people want to be engaged, they can support your efforts in South Sudan. And so that's where FOUR South Sudan got its start. So why is it, do you think, so important for him to to be doing that? Because he's he's been away from Sudan for a long time. If you would ask Lopez, what do you remember that drives you. And he'll describe sitting in a hut uh, with little boys, six years old, uh, sitting around him and waking up in the morning with the stench of, of excrement and never seeing those boys lift their heads again. And he'll be the first one to tell you that little boy could have been me. But somewhere along the line, God in his wisdom uh, divined it in such a way that somebody came to my rescue. And in a sense, somebody paid it forward for me. God had it wired up so that somebody would pay it forward for me. And it's now my responsibility, given the blessing and the resources that I've been endowed with, to now start doing the exact same thing for some other little kid. He's often saying, you've said this at the trials, right after having coming in third and again now on his second Olympic team, someone thrust a microphone into his face and said, you know, uh, tell me more about why you're doing this. And he said that there would be some little boy that see what I'm doing and recognize that there's hope. Uh, this is a big part of, of his story and one that he doesn't want anybody to miss. South Sudan is, is one of the most difficult areas that I know World Vision works in. It must be an uphill struggle. 
It's an unbelievable struggle. Um, many of our staff, in fact, are from other nations. Uh, as we begin to build an office in South Sudan, we need to recognize this is a country or a part of formerly uh, the nation of Sudan that's been caught up in civil war, uh, tribal strife, uh, lack of resources, abject poverty. Many of the people have not been able to hold a job or have a job or have an opportunity for a job. So in many cases, in many of the places in which we're working, we're starting at ground zero. Uh, it's literally beginning the very infinitesimal, immature, elemental steps of having a person begin to be empowered. What does it mean to set a priority? What does it mean to follow through on that priority? And these are on some of the most basic elements of life, from clean water to education, et cetera. So yeah, the the we sh we shouldn't fool ourselves. South Sudan is not out of the woods in by you know any measure. But but that's again why I keep going back to Lopez. Um, his hope is boundless. Uh, yes, he knows that this is in a very difficult way and 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 a very you know, tenuous time in the nation's, this young nation's history. They just got their independence uh, a year ago. But he said, now's the time in which you do step in. And I think that's one of the reasons why World Vision has found themselves uh, so much in love with this particular <laughs> spokesperson is because he speaks it like we feel it. Uh, Lopez actually re recognizes the fact that all of these are almost divine initiatives for him. Uh, the escape was a divine initiative of God to release him from a place where he was going to die. The refugee camp was a hardening in a place to learn lessons about how to live with one another, uh, divinely directed by God. The rescue to the United States was to find a way out to start expressing himself as divinely directed by God. Uh, the rise in becoming an NCAA champion in college in several events uh, as a distance runner, the, the making it and carrying the flag in the Olympics to draw notoriety to South Sudan that was not even talked about prior to the Olympics. And now this getting into the final in London, all of these were divine initiatives to him. So the all-American story for him, he kind of, it just kind of goes right over his head. Uh, <laughs> he sees this as a story that has been scripted, that he is out of control of, but that he has a great responsibility to carry so that all these events are, are part of a larger story that he's living out. Here's a remarkable guy with a remarkable story and a remarkable future. Steve, it's great to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed for sparing time for us today. Thank you, Alan. Right now, I'm running for the purpose. I'm running for what is really needed to be done. And I'm so excited to be, to be actually team up with the World Vision and I want to inspire people. I want to give them opportunity and, you know, just kind of lead that light to them and say, you know, that's our hope for you and you can be able to get there. I can talk all day about this charity. I, I can talk all day about what, what, it, what it meant to be able to go out there and tell other kid, this little kid and often that, you know, somebody out there caring for you. You know, this is, this is what the place for you to sleep. This is the place for you to be able to get education and this is the place for you to get a clean water. And this is a great place for you to call home. You know, I was given a home before and now it's my turn to be able to take that baton and go, go look back and give these people opportunity. It's incredible. I'm really excited to be part of this. And you can find out more about Lopez Lomong's story and his partnership with World Vision on these websites, lopezlomong.com, that's lopezlomong.com, and also fourthsouthsudan.org, that's the number four, southsudan.org. And a postscript to that story, Lopez did find his birth family again, and he's also been able to have his two brothers sponsored into the United States. We also hear that one of them could soon be challenging Lopez on the track. And you can find out more on those websites as well. Mm -hmm.